All right, all right. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. This is Talk Real Solutions. And I'm your host, Tyrone Johnson. I want to thank you for tuning in to the show. Solutions. And I'm your host, Tyrone Thompson. I want to thank you for tuning in to the show. Today is In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, I am the mighty, mighty, mighty. <laughs> I got that from Don Cornelius. I'm the mighty, mighty, mighty angel snuffed up seven. And welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Rock. Another short video. <laughs> Alrighty then. On this busy, let us get yo busy. <laughs> I was just thinking, because this is the reality's temple, so we need to look at things in, in the most real sense that we can. I want to talk about the soul. Most of us relate to what is called the soul. Uh, our definition is based on religious teachings, whereas when this physical body no longer functions and death uh, proclaims this flesh then what is known as the soul is forced to evacuate this body and this soul or the spirit leaves and goes to uh, heaven or hell or a place in the middle until the judgment day according to uh, some religious teachings. Now, this video should be short because I just want to make us think. I, uh, I don't know what this soul looked like. Or this spirit. As of this time. We can't bottle the soul up. We have no idea. We, we have no idea of what it is. There are no machines that have. That can. Uh, spot. That's not the word I'm looking for. What's that word I'm looking for? Anyway, there's no machine that can verify or you can put this machine around a dying person and the machine can analyze and you can see something that we can say, that, see, that's our soul. See, some people are, are, are idiots. They always talk about, you can't see air. You can't see this. There are machines that can can show us air. You can take a cigarette.
trigger it, blow it into the atmosphere, and it floats on something. There's something, there's something that can verify there is, there is an existence. We may not know what it is. We may not, our eyes may not be able to detect. That's the word I'm looking for, detect. A machine that can detect the spirit. A machine that can detect the soul leaving the body. So that is why in religion we are asked to believe this teaching about the existence of a soul. Because we have no machine that can detect. There are machines that can detect air, carbon dioxide, gases that we cannot see or smell. We have machines that can do that. We sometimes can rely on animals. There are some animals that can detect these different gases. We know that they exist. We can, and we know they exist because we can take them, manipulate them, and use the gas, these air, these things that we can't see, even these germs. We need micros, microscopes to see the germs, but they can detect. They have found, we have found these are real, and anything that is real, we can take it and manipulate it so that it can benefit ourselves. Because that's our reality. Anything that we know of in our reality, if we can detect it, we can use it. It could be real. Just because you cannot see it. Just because you cannot touch it. Don't mean it don't exist. But until we can have a machine or an animal or, or a tree, something that can make us to know that this is our reality, then it is fiction. It is fantasy. So... That's why, again, we are asked to believe in the spirit of the body. But there has to be something. Something has to cause us to function the way we do. What is causing our hands to move for us to speak, for us to be who we are? We have to have a soul. In the black community a long time ago, we used to have soul. And what was soul? Soul was really just simply having the happiness in life. The ability to express our emotion. You can feel our emotion when we dance. You can feel our emotion when we sing. You can feel our emotion even when we were slaves on the plantation. No matter what we did, you could feel our emotion. So our music by black people was used to be called soul music. Because you could feel the emotion. Now it's called R and B. Rhythm and blue. Music, but it has no soul. And you can see that the soul has left because the people that listen to R&B and any music that don't have no soul, look at them. They don't know what love is. They don't feel they emotionless. But that's not my subject. But you understand. Because if we had our soul black man and woman, you couldn't go on YouTube and be talking about another black man the way you do. If we had soul black people, we wouldn't be calling the black woman a hoe and a bitch if we had our soul. This generation of black people, I call them dark Europeans, and that's what you are and have become. Because unlike black people, you've gone backwards. Because when you disrespect the black woman... When you shoot down black men in the street by your own hand, ain't no white cop, ain't nobody white did a damn thing. You're doing it to yourself because you lost your soul. You lost your emotion and feeling for your own people. That's why it's easy for you to do. So don't tell me don't have a beef with a dark European because I know that dark European has lost his soul. And that which has lost its soul is dead. Anything that don't have a soul.
soul have died. Exactly what is the soul in our reality? I'm not talking about figurative in our reality. The soul or that which we call the soul or we know of as a soul simply brothers and sisters you don't want to hear this because we've been influenced by religious teachings. But our soul could simply just be the proper functioning of a brain. Remember the scarecrow from the wind? If I only had a brain. You are not legally dead until the brain stops functioning. When a person goes into a comatose state or a vegetable-like state, they have lost the functioning of their brain. So you have a body that is heart beating, lungs breathing, but they look like they're dead. And when you look like you're dead, or when you're dead, you lose your soul. So the reality of it must be, the soul really must be your brain. And the black people in this country, you are called, we are called Negro. That was the first thing we were called. I believe it is in the Greek language. The C and the K are interchangeable with the G. So instead of being called Negro, you would be called Necro or Necro. And necro is the suffix of necrology or necrologist. Necro means dead. Necrology is the study of the dead. And anything that has died has lost its spirit, has lost its soul, has lost its ability to use your brain. So that is why, brothers and sisters, we live today and the black man and woman in America we are emotionless because we've lost our soul. Because we've lost our ability to properly use our brain, we have become comatose. But now the time has come that past teachings be brought to a higher evolution or put to the side period and a new idea, a new creation must come a new way of thinking to pump life. So now it's time to give these dead people, these people called Necro or Negro or, hey, my nigga, it's time for them, for us to give them CPR to get their heart pumping. But if the brain dies, it don't make no difference what you do to the heart. It don't make no difference what you do to the lungs. Because once the brain dies, which is your soul for real, then you're dead. Then a body will be there, it will be functioning, but it serves no purpose. It might as well have be dead because once your brain gone, it's the soul. We who are black people in America, we don't function like living people. We function like we're comatose. We're breathing. Our hearts are beating. But our brain is dead. <laughs> and you want to know something about people that's in comas? People who are in vegetable-like conditions? You ever notice? Have you ever seen these people? They can smile. Some of them can talk. But they're lifeless. And that's how we are. We talk. We can dance. We do many things as a people. But we're lifeless. Because dead people, dead people can't influence nothing. Only the living, the living can influence the dead. 
But the dead can't influence and do nothing. And that's how we are. Because we are mentally dead. We've lost our soul. And we're happy to say rhythm and blues. Because we're comatose. Because we got the rhythm. And we can't feel blue. But we lost our soul. So soul music don't exist no more. Only comatose music is left. Brothers and sisters, just think about it. Your soul is your brain. Once your brain goes, that's it. That's the real soul. Not nothing spooky. Not no spirit flying out of your body going, once this brain is gone, you're through. And we as a people in this nation, we are through because we've lost the ability to properly use our brain. Thank you for listening. This is your brother, Taliki Mara. Jump down your comments. This was and is the Realities Temple. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am your host of this particular program, known here on social media as the Mighty, Mighty, Mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub Seven. I am your brother. Soul brother, that is number one, and your friend Tali Even Ra. Okay, I want to supplement a video I made a, probably a few years ago, and the topic or the subject that I had chosen for that video was the brain is your soul, not. A spirit. Mm. Like I said a few years ago. Now since that time. I was hoping. And I have been waiting for somebody to. Give a, a, a valid. Credible refute. To what I presented. So far. There has been none. What I would like to today. Continue. Our talk. About. Your soul is the brain. It is not a spirit. We want to continue to talk about that based on the concept, our understanding, our belief in what we were taught within religious belief systems, whether that be uh, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, or any other, whereas they teach that the reason why we are living is because this physical body is possessed by a soul. So in religious teachings, what we're going to do, since this is the reality's temple on earth, we are going to try to put our spin on what is being taught, but bring it and present it in a more real way of viewing the soul. Now, so religion tells us that the soul resides and it is the life of the body. Now, those of us, and I'm very sure some of you watch these detective stories and homicide stories and you know these violent stories and even the local news and we we are taught and we have experience in our lives persons who have passed this life they have died and as far as I know a person is never declared legally dead 
until the brain stops functioning, until they believe that the person is brain dead. The heart can continue to pump. Matter of fact, I heard that uh, Muhammad Ali, the greatest, the boxer Muhammad Ali, on his deathbed, they said that his brain was gone, but his heart continued to pump. But Muhammad Ali was still was declared dead because his brain had died. But his heart, and you can continue to um, breathe, and you can continue to, your heart can continue to pump, and all these other functions can continue, but if your brain is dead, they consider you gone. The brain, so if your brain is gone, what is that telling us? The soul has left the building. So the brain must be the soul because if everything else is functioning, but the brain does not function, you are declared legally dead. Thus, the soul has left the body. Where does the brain reside? The, res the brain resides in the skull. In this area, it is called a temple. A temple is called, or also called a house. The brain resides inside a temple. The brain resides in a house. The brain resides in this body. The soul resides in a physical body body again everything can work in the body but if the brain dies then the soul has left isn't it ironic isn't it shouldn't you question the fact that the brain once the brain dies the body is gone you're not declared dead until, until the brain has been declared that it is dead. And you're, you're not dead or considered dead until the soul leaves the body. And when the brain starts functioning, the body is considered dead. The soul has left the body. There is no other way that we can look at this. The brain is the tool. The brain is the only way that you can experience this world. Without the brain, you can have a ears, but you cannot hear. Without a brain, you can have eyes, but you cannot see. Without a brain, you can have a mouth, but you cannot talk. You have nothing to talk about. The brain is our only way to experience life. You can have everything, hands and feet, eyes and ears and mouth, but without the brain, it doesn't matter. It is your way. It is our way to experience life. And once the brain dies, you might as well be dead because you can't experience life anymore. The soul has left the body. You are a Muslim. You are a Christian. You are a Hebrew Israelite. You are comedic. You are all these things and we speak about our soul and our spirit but if it was not for the brain you could not speak about anything the brain gives you choice the brain gives you the ability to even make you believe in a soul or think that you have a soul it is your brain 
if your brain stops functioning, you would not care anything about Jesus. When the brain stops functioning, you do not care nothing about Muhammad or Kemet or anything at all. It is the brain. But we will not acknowledge the reality of the brain. The brain makes all of this possible for us. Without the brain, life for us would not exist. During the slavery of dark-skinned people, and we are the descendants of slaves born in America having dark skin, I was taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that we were made lost, deaf, dumb, and blind. What does this mean? This means that we were robbed of knowledge. We were robbed of the knowledge of self. We were robbed of the knowledge of the life that we once lived. It was all taken away and we became a shell without a brain. Although we had a physical brain, everything was wiped out. Like you, like when we have our computer hard drive clean. It is wiped out. And you have to start all over again programming your computer. And so this is what happened over a period of years to dark-skinned people in this nation. Some of us, in fact, the majority of us have no idea. We do not know, have any idea of what the original programming was. And to make sure that we stay, since our brain is always thinking, since our brain is always scanning, since our brain represents life and life is ever changing and curious and always want to know. The slave master made it against the law for the slave to read or write. The slave master made it against the law for the slave to gain knowledge. Because knowledge, and we make a reference back to religious teachings about the God, the God took soil, the God took dirt and raised that dirt and that soil up and into that dirt, into that soil, into that mud that God breathed the uh, breathed into that soul life. Wow. When you feed your brain, when the brain is given knowledge and the brain is your soul and it resides in the body, when you give it knowledge, you are breathing into the body, you are breathing into this dirt, the breath of life. And then this dirt in this body, this slave becomes a living soul. Wow, man. See, I can explain my version of the soul. You can't explain your version because it's very difficult to explain the unexplainable. It is very difficult to explain something that is outside of your reality. We cannot speak about the dead because we are living. Death is outside of our reality. We have no idea of what occurs after that. No idea. And our brain does not function to that level. The brain is not designed. The brain is designed for life. This brain is designed. This soul is designed to function within the life that we were given in within this reality. Your computer can only function 
within a certain environment. It was not designed for outside of our reality. Because you don't know. How can the brain, how can the computer speak about that which you don't know because they all must be programmed. We can only speak about the rock and the deer and the grass and the and space and anything of these niches that our mind can comprehend and we can we can imagine but imagination doesn't necessarily mean it would become a reality some things are fiction and will, will remain fiction because it's outside of the reality of how we came into being how we were created it could change but not in our lifetime not not in the present has not done so in hundreds of years so brothers and sisters let's speak about it when you talk about your soul the soul is your brain feed your brain knowledge not real knowledge and you will see that it will function for you much better than giving a real brain fictional data. With that said, jot down your comments, let's talk about it. Until next time, love, peace, and